Oh, g'day, it's Scott Gibbons. We're back again. Oh, back. We have some stars. They're fans of the Danny Foundation. As you're fans of their shows, they are fans of the Danny Foundation. Ada Nicodemus, thank you again for supporting us. Oh, thank you for having me. So, tell, what's your involvement? Well, I've known Justin for, what, about 30 years, and he asked me here, I don't know, about, what, four or five years ago? Four or five years ago, yeah. Um, yeah, Justin has had a lot of um, tragedy in his life, um, and so I'm here to support him. Aren't you fabulous? Now, Justin, we've met before, yes. and we've, we've heard, and the story is just, it's a painful story, but it helps so many each time you tell it. Would definitely. you tell it again? Oh, definitely. Oh, look, uh, yeah, the Type 1 community is very, very deeply connected to my family. I mean, I lost my, my brother Chris to Type 1 diabetes. He had a hypo in his sleep. It's about 20 or 25 years ago now, and he was 28 years old. He was engaged, and uh, uh, there was no glucose monitoring uh, devices around that time. And he fell asleep in bed. He had a hypo. He didn't wake up in the morning. My mum went up to his unit next door and to, to have breakfast, and he was... He was he passed away in his sleep and um, and yeah my my other brother's type one diabetes my nephew and and I think um, it's one of those things when when you've had the opportunity to uh, as as an actor to to be on TV you get you get asked to do a lot of charities and and throughout my my journey in the in the entertainment industry I've, I've type one diabetes has been the closest to my family. I'm very honoured to have Ada come along and support as she has her own personal charities, has made time tonight to support the Type 1 community. But so Yeah, I mean I guess as a novice for me, like prior to like coming to this event, I had no idea that diabetes like like people died from diabetes. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah because I've I've known Justin for thirty years but he never spoke about this beforehand. So um Yes, it's very close to my heart as well, just as a mother. Um, and yeah, I'm very sympathetic to all parents out there and, and people out there with type 1 diabetes because I had no idea that it was a killer. But you've been generous. You've attended the Danny so many times. Yeah, We've talked so many times. Yeah. And yet each time you bring some freshness. Everybody that walks into the room, they yeah. see you there and they think, this has got to be such a great charity because you're supporting it. But you support it wholeheartedly. You don't just attend and stand in a corner. You're out there mixing with people, getting the story. Well, well, like I said, I, I mean, I'm a mum, and even prior to being a mum, I, um, uh, I'm going to get really upset, but I, I really sympathise with um, parents out there and, and people, you know, loved ones who have lost, um, you know, their, their brothers and, and sisters and, and, and children because I had no idea that diabetes type 1 was a, was a killer. Me too. Yeah, I had me no too. idea. And, and then when Donna rang me and told me the story yeah. from there yeah. and you learn and yet you can see them and they're going through pain and yeah. strain and yeah. angst and, and yet it's you, you too, who yeah. attend and you help. But even even tonight, Donna shared a really pe a personal um, story, like of her 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 um her daughter who what well, she was fifteen, just talking about Danny. type one, yeah, diabetes. Yeah, Danny was talking about that, and um, how brave that is for Donna to read an outtake of of a, a diary entry of her daughter who'd passed away. I just. As a mother, that just broke my heart, you know. So I urge people to learn more about type one diabetes and to donate where they can, because um, no, no parent, no one should lose anyone because of this. And the thing is, and Justin can vouch for this, it can happen at any age, mm. from yeah. very, very young people who have had it forty years, people who are only going to get it, and yeah. they're sixty years old. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I think the most important thing. Having type one is an amazing challenge to deal with in life. Mm. And people forget that it's also the families that have to work with a type one daughter or son and what they go through and, and, and how they stay. There's always a challenge. You, you, there's always, you have to make sure there's sucrose and, and, and juice packs and things in the fridge. Even when I go to the watch the state of origin with, with my brother, you're trying to work out, well, where to park, where it's easy to, if I have to get to a hospital, if he's had a few too many beers, you're trying to work out, make sure you've got a juice pack in your pocket. You're always prepared. It's the anxiety 
that comes with it. It's the anxiousness. Yeah. And now it becomes a mental health thing. Yeah. They're all interconnected with each other. It's not just the yeah. type one, it's the mental health, it's everything connected that, that goes along with this challenge and this struggle with this disease that's happening to, to a huge, to two million families in Australia that but are affected. It also must have been like, um, no, I asked you tonight about yeah. like your family because I know that you'd lost mm. your brother, but um, on a mental health issue, like, like, you know, because you have lost someone because of this and I asked you know like how the rest of your family members like um your your mum your like your siblings like they must really be always on tenterhooks knowing that like how serious it's, this it's, is it's, you know because I, I haven't had this experience so it's, it's it's been this last year and if we're speaking currently into in today's time when when we hear the news about COVID-19 mm. the elderly and type 1 diabetes are the first ones to die. <laughs> so so anyone who's got type 1 di diabetes, if you get COVID-19, you're in that bracket of, of, of care, of, of, of worries, of concern. So like when we all had the lockdown uh, back in March, April uh, last year, I, I just remember my brother had to stay at home. The, the, the risks, the things, the, the things you gotta think ahead, the forward thinking, the, the worries, the concerns. Mm -hmm. The mental health side it, it's just really really tough I'm like oh my god I mean losing my other brother type 1 but I don't want to lose my other brother who's type 1 now if he gets COVID I could lose him quicker do you, to, do you think that the, like the government is doing enough for type 1 diabetes they, I think th I think they can do so much more for yeah. the adults now mm. I mean yeah Donna mm. and the foundation the Denny foundation is so much mm. and the subsidy and to and for um, the, obviously the children are our future and all that stuff, we, we, we know that, but um, yeah. the adults... Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I think just to cap it all together, yeah. you two are busy people, you're fabulous people, mm. you're loved by all of Australia, and yet for you to donate your time and your sincerity in wanting to help this charity, because there must be so many charities that, that command your time, but the, the generosity that you give the Danny Foundation, oh. thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. We we just want to bring more awareness. The way they thought mm. of type one, as my father when he used to tell my 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 brother back 30 years ago, have you had your shot? Have you had your needles? Other people didn't realise. They thought it was a some kind of virus you catch or something. They they, they no one understood what type one is. And I think what the foundation, Danny Foundation, I think it's really important bringing awareness and if we can bring more awareness and bring everyone in Australia together to work through this together and, and to speak up and say it's okay to share and to work out the struggle and to help other families and who are struggling, who don't have private health care and who need that extra help. And we're all, we're all here for you yeah. as well. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, absolutely. You're fabulous. Well, there you are. Your fans of theirs, their fans of the Danny Foundation, thank you so much for your generosity, your time. Thank you, thank you for supporting Danny. Justin Melvin and the lovely Ada Nicodemo. Fabulous. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you.